I want to just ask how many in the room is your first, this is your first time in the Southern Hemisphere? First time? Almost half. That's pretty amazing. And then how about first time in Auckland? Ah, okay. Like 80%. Um, all right. It's my first time too um, in Auckland. And I have to say in New Zealand, uh, the, the one thing to know is that there's, uh, there's three different kinds of kiwis. So um, when I, I, years ago, I, 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 true story, I actually, uh, the, this friend, it was from New Zealand, and we started talking, and I, I said, you know, oh, I just, I love kiwis, and she said, oh, I do too, and I said, I just, I just could, I could, I could just sit down and eat like five of them at a time, and she looked at me like, what, and I said, yeah, you know, I, I just take them, and I just, you know, cut them in half and I just squeeze out all the juice and they're delicious and she was, and I had no idea that there was a bird and she thought I was talking about yeah that birds um <clears throat> anyway <laughs> um so it's been a crazy period since we last had coral in London and I want to acknowledge all the all the upheavals the, the 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 incredible amount of complexity uh, that's been happening in the world today. And we should we should take all of that seriously. I also want to acknowledge Peter Liu, dear friend and colleague, um, had passed away very unexpectedly, literally two weeks ago. Um, and and I, I want to say that the coral has has had this this uh, very young history. It really it started with Vincent. Um, Vincent, Sergey, and I were co-chairs of the very first one. Um, in Mountain View, and then it's evolved over over the last six years, and we, it's a it's a it's a and the other thing that's involved is that there is now an official executive committee. So this happened kind of behind the scenes, and Vincent is the is a president of of this committee. Um, Raya, who is the Raya Hetzel was the chair of last year's coral. She's um, she's a treasurer. Nick Leroy at MIT is the uh, is the secretary, and then there's a number of directors as you see here. So I want to acknowledge their roles. They've all worked really continuously to guide the planning for Coral. And this year, the organizing committee that's listed online. So I'm not going to go through all of these names just in the interest of time. But I want to say we've had a very I, I've been very fortunate to have worked with this group of people. They are many of them are in the audience. Actually, just uh, do me a favor, just raise your hand if you're one of the organizing committee members. Just put your hands up for a moment. Maybe you should give them a round of applause. Okay. Okay. Um, however, there's one who really is, stands out here. And I have, to, I have to say, I got extremely lucky because when he was uh, recommended, as a, as a potential uh, local local chair, I, I I have to say, you know, everything depends on a good local chair. If you if you don't have that, it's uh, it can be disastrous. And not only did we get, I would say, the best local chair that I have ever worked with or uh, have, have connected with, but he continues to go above and beyond in every possible way, down to like noticing that there's a slight typo in somebody's slide, and he wants to make sure that that's been fixed. So that there, nothing is left to chance, and he has thought about so many different aspects of this conference. You'll see in the attention to detail. Minas, you got to stand up and get a round of applause for this. Truly, I mean, we had little. We talked about we want to have good food and we want to have good coffee, and wait, you have to see the food quality is astounding. You picked out every single appetizer uh, himself. Um, the other thing where I got really lucky was in the in, in the program co-chairs. And I have to say, we have, th it's been a wonderful to work with them, to watch how they think and interact. The, the There's a my myriad of decisions that have to occur. And I always knew that we were gonna be in very, very good hands um, with, with Karen, Dana, and Jeff. But it was, it really, it, it's been far more interesting and complex than I could have ever imagined. So they, where are they? They're gonna come up in a minute. Good, they, um, Karen's gonna come up in a minute to, um, to explain a little bit about the, the details of the program. Um, also, I don't know why my phone is doing this. Um, I also wanna thank um, the, the sponsors then, um, that we have here. And my phone is taking on a life of its own here. It's very bizarre. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the, the, the chairs of the sponsor committee, uh, Andra, Yuxi, and Tae Myung, um, where are you guys out there? 
they have done an enormous job of really working on sponsorships from the for the whole past year. You can see that they've been super successful. Uh, I want to thank all the sponsors who are here. That that makes possible a lot of little treats that are that are available. Like the if you didn't see it, there's a truck outside with gourmet coffee, and it's going to be here every day for the whole conference. And the price for anything you want there is zero. It's completely uh, it's completely free. So um, there's that. Um, workshops that we're having today dorsa dorsa is here she's racing in from from uh, mexico or someplace but she uh she put this together 24 proposals came in and 11 were accepted these are all happening and we'll be getting back to them shortly but uh the ones i was in today are have been fantastic um we also have demonstrations uh hin has put those together hin where are you he's probably out fixing things oh there he is way in the corner thank you for that and um uh, inclusion at Coral. So this is something we, we've taken seriously for, for since the beginning. Uh, I want to thank Daniel and Chinwei who put together a program. We consulted with them throughout the planning and they had $10,000. They raised $10,000 directly from Google and thanks to Google for that. Then they put out the word. There, are, um, there were 15 applications. Seven of them have been funded for travel. Uh, also live transcripts. Uh, Daniel's been organizing that. Daniel, put your hand up right down here front and center. Thank you, Daniel, for all of that. There's going to be a dinner um, for inclusion-related activities on Sunday. There's still a little bit of space for that, so please see Daniel if you'd like to join. And um, we also have Best Paper Awards. There's Best Paper, Best Systems Paper. Those will be, um, we have nominees will be announced soon. I also just want to put out there who are the jury, and we spent a lot of time making sure there's no conflict of interest. Inevitably, there's going to be someone who has a a co-author that they have connections to. So what we've done is re been very careful about making sure that they're recused from any consideration of their paper that they have a relationship with. So trust us, we're, pay we're really paying attention to that, so taking it seriously. And I also especially want to thank Leslie and Byron for joining the committee at the last minute to make sure that we can just avoid any conflicts. Now, experiments, a couple of things we've done this year that we have, uh, we've tried, and I put them as experiments because we don't know if they succeed we'll, we'll, or not. Um, obviously, we, we moved it to a new hemisphere. So far, so good on that. Um, the timing, we had to move the, the timing of the conference to later because uh, for a variety of reasons, but um, to be, we also, it worked out nicely with the summertime here. Um, the logo I'll mention in a minute, they, we, we, we really emphasize the idea of limitations um that those who know me you know this is my pet peeve is like put your dirty laundry in there and uh in fact this morning i asked a question and my basic question was can we have some more dirty laundry so i think is that that is really so important so i appreciate everybody bearing with us on that which it seems to be going well on, on all the presentations so far we've used open review in some new ways that karen may mention we're also adding carbon offsets because i i think um everyone feeling a little guilty about having to to use um, a lot of carbon to get here. So there's carbon offset that we built into the registration cost. And uh, Minas will say a little more about that. Um, we also added the full days of workshops. We shortened the keynotes and tutorials a little bit to, to fit everything in. We added cart respondents. So all the oral talks, there's a signed respondents to make sure that there's always a lively Q&A session. And I, I don't think we're gonna, that's gonna be a problem here at all. Um, we also decided because it was a, it was very hard to manage the in-person versus online experience in, in the past, especially with the posters, because you had people calling in and trying to talk. So we separated those. Now when it's in person, it's just the people who are in the room. And then the online, we have two separate sessions. Uh, and those are both open uh, to all of us, all, all of you here as well. Um, we also asked a new thing, which is that we asked people to put their laptops. People are on their laptop doing, you know, whatever they're doing, watching the World Cup. Um, they can... Uh, Sit in the back, um, please, and don't sit in the front. I mean, we're not going to be super policing that. And there are certainly exceptions because um, for disabilities and other things. So don't, don't we're not going to be harsh about that. But just we want you to use your judgment. We wanted you to participate. You flew all the way here. So, you know, just to get on your email and stuff, you know, I know it's tempting. But and then we added an open problem session that you'll be hearing about a little bit in, later. Last thing I want to say before I turn things over to Minas, or sorry, to uh, to Karen, is the logo. So we had fun with this. The the logo, as you as you know, has always been the brain up there. But then um, uh, I was searching for the logo of New New Zealand, and this leaf kept coming up. I was like, "What is this leaf?" And uh, and and Minas was like, "No, that's the fern. That the fern is actually something very fundamental to New Zealand. That's the thing." So then we decided to put them together, and then of course the fern. 
is in the lower hemisphere of the, we figured just out the lower hemisphere to the situation. So there you go, that's our logo. All right, um, Karen, all yours. Thanks, Ken, for the kind words. Hi, I'm Karen Liu. Uh, I'm the one who sent you probably 100 emails in the last six months, so I apologize for that. Uh, but it is definitely not easy to put together a program for Coro. Um, and uh, we have three program chairs, um, myself, Jeff, and, uh, and Dana. But let me see how I advance, oh yeah. So that's still not enough because we really need to solicit a lot of help from the entire community of the robotics. So we have 60, 62 wonderful area chairs. Thank you for being so responsible and so helpful, especially during the time when we have to review the papers and, and do the discussion in a very short period of time. Um, we have 567 reviewers who produce more than 1600 reviews that's a lot of work, especially in summer, summertime. Um, but to me, the, the, the biggest contributors are the authors. And a lot of you are here today. Thank you for submitting your best work to Coro. And thank you for trusting us to, to publish your best, world, uh, best work to the world. Um, congratulations again. Yep. So, after the papers are accepted, it's still not done. There's still tons of work, but we're really lucky to have Jay right there helping us with the publications and George help us with the, pro the online programs. And finally, I wanna thank uh, Ken and Minas. Um, we've been working together tirelessly for a year. Uh, I didn't know you guys very well before. Now we're the best friends. So thank you for all the, for the guidance, it's awesome. Um, on to the program. So one of the reasons this is super exciting this year is because we have a record high, 504 submissions. This is uh, mostly 25% growth since last year. So yeah, Coro is growing. We are expanding at the speed we've never seen before. Uh, we have 197 accepted papers. The acceptance rate is about the same as last year, and 34 of those papers are selected to be the oral papers. Um, following the tradition from previous years, we have this rebuttal discussion phase this year, where the authors and the reviewers can continue to interact with each other to, to further uh, improve the paper quality. And to me, this is a hallmark of CORAL. Um, we we really want also to believe it, that when they submit their work to Coral, they can get, we, we want to maximize the, the, the constructive and insightful reviews or feedback they can get from the community. So that itself is, is very valuable, regardless of the outcome of the paper. But of course, you want the paper still to be accepted. So we have 78% of the papers that have a different scores before and after rebuttal this year. That's a lot. Uh, most of the papers got improved there in terms of the ratings. Some papers got reduced in, in ratings, and that's a fair game. This could happen. And here on the uh, on the um, on your uh, on your right, you see the uh, distribution of the ratings um, in terms of the change um, before and after rebuttal. Um, so in the next few days, you will see six oral sessions and six poster sessions. We're really happy that most of the people can make it to the in-person presentations, but we fully understand there are a lot of people who couldn't come here, the authors who can come here because of visa issues, and we want to do our best to have a, a good online presentation, online programs to give you the best experience. And for poster sessions, we also have in-person and online sessions. Please make sure you attend both of them. Um, this is going to be an awesome program. I'm super excited and I, I hope you are too. And that will be my last slide. Minas? Hey, Aura, welcome to Oakland. And uh, I will start with what to do in an emergency. So I know it's quite late in the program, but you need to leave immediately uh, by the nearest exit. And they are all clearly marked. You need to move quickly, but do not run. Close the doors, but do not turn off the lights and do not use any of the lifts. 
make your way to Grafton Road. Grafton Road is outside and use the footpath outside the building and uh, ensure that you have left all the entrances clear. If you need assistance for evacuation, please contact one of the organizers in order uh, for us to help you. Now that we have clarified that, uh, this is the website of CORE 2022. We selected with uh, Ken an image that is one of the hills of Auckland. Actually, Auckland is full of hills. You, you have probably seen them. Most of them are volcanoes. Don't get alarmed. The chances of one of them uh, erupting uh, are very low. But there are always some chances yeah, of, of this happening. Anyway, uh, so this is the website. Uh, it has all the announcements. Uh, it has also instructions that most of you have ignored. If you go to the PDF that says here, you can find everything that you need to know about uh, CORL. Now, location and venues, you can see here a very nice panoramic image of uh, um, Auckland. And you can see the new engineering building and uh, the Auckland uh, Business School, OGG building. This is the building. And uh, you can see also this is the first image that you can find in the floor plans. My advice is please check the floor plans. I know that the place is very big. It has many different lecture theaters. From tomorrow, the program will be much more simple because all the oral sessions will be here in this auditorium. The auditorium underneath 098 will be projecting the talks of the main auditorium. So if you want to work on your laptops, you can go downstairs if, if this does not have enough uh, empty seats. Now, uh, this is how it looks like, the venue, OGG building, more images of the business school, apologies for um, the tracks that there are up there. I don't know, the University of Auckland decided that it's a very good idea to paint the building during coral. I tried, I tried to stop it, but uh, unfortunately you will have to uh, take pictures of the other side of the building. Now, this is an example of uh, a level of the OGT building. Please, again, check the floor plans in order for you to know where you need to go tomorrow. The poster sessions are in the yellow areas. Poster lobby, 041 and 040 and 040 B and C. These are the poster areas for tomorrow. Now, barista coffee, free all day. In case that you haven't uh, figured it out yet, please go order your coffee. We have already a minimum number of coffees. So if you don't order them, we will still pay. So take advantage of it. Now, uh, social events. You can see the CBD of Auckland, where all the suggestions that we have provided for you on the website are for restaurants, bars, and all the other things. And with Red, we have the social events. We have the MOTAT, the MOTAT on this side and uh, on the left side, and on the right side, we have the Auckland Museum. Transportation for social events, free. We have buses that will come and pick you up in order to take you to the Auckland Museum and to MOTAT. All the buses will live from Alfred Street. I will give you a minute to check the map. You see, you go up Grafton Road, and then across uh, the road, across Simons, is Alfred Street. We will have also volunteers that will guide you there. Okay? And as you see, we have a lot of buses. Today they depart, the first one departs at 5.45. And we have buses all the time. And they will bring you also back. Why? Because Auckland Museum is in the middle of the domain, the domain park. And we don't want you to walk because it will get quite dark when we will finish. So after the event, the welcome reception, please wait for the buses to come back and pick you up. And they will bring you back to um, the collection point. Now, welcome reception, we have booked the entire Auckland Museum and we have asked the, the people of the Auckland Museum to keep it open. So once you finish with the workshops, my suggestion is go to the Auckland Museum. You can have one hour in order to wander around see the different parts of the museum. And we have also provided complimentary tickets for the new Stoneheads exhibition that discusses the secrets of Stoneheads. It starts from New Zealand and it opened, actually it opens today with you. 
So you can please enjoy the exhibition. And after the exhibition and uh, the museum, you can go to the Under the Dome. Under the Dome is the glass dome of the museum where we will have uh, food and drinks. And we will also make some announcements. Museum of Transport and Technology will host the banquet of the conference, the dinner. It is a very nice aviation hall that has a lot of very nice uh, aircrafts that you can find only in New Zealand. This is how the floor plan looks like. You will have your dinner, or at least some lucky of you will have the dinner because it's sold out. Unfortunately, 100 people will not go to the dinner, and apologies for that. I tried to convince these people to add more tables, but it was a, a, a health and safety concern. And uh, you will have your dinner underneath the airplanes. It will look like that, the space, uh, tomorrow. And with the tables, it looks like that. And it has some aircrafts like this aircraft. Sorry. These, these aircrafts, uh, they were used by Air New Zealand in order to go to the Pacific Islands in the 50s and 60s. So you will have, I, I think that you will have a lot of fun. Now, the badges of the conference, we decided to do a double-sided uh, with the help of Ken and uh, the aesthetic uh, um, assistance of, Carol, of Ken. And this is how it looks like, uh, the design, and this is how it looks like mine when it is printed. These are the T's, uh, long sleeve T's. Why? Because the sun here, when it decides to come out, it burns a lot. And online platform, Feedloop, at the lobby, you can find all the announcements and the instructions, again, as in the website. We have also, yeah, these are the instructions. We have also for our sponsors, an exhibit hall where you can find all the sponsors and their videos and the descriptions. And we also have a, a list of all the demonstrations. Please check the program and visit the demonstrations. These people, they have put a lot of effort into preparing the demonstrations. And today we didn't have good attendance. We decided with him to bring the demos to you. Uh, so during the coffee break, right? We plan to have also demos in um, level zero of OGG. Student engagement chair, Ryan, are you here? Please come. Thank you, Minis. I have a grand total of one slide. Uh, so actually, Ashwin and Bridgen should be up here too. We very much split the work equally. Um, so our job was student engagement chair, and we were thinking, how do we en engage the students? And what we came up with is that we would hold a puzzle hunt for the first time in choral history. So if you're unfamiliar with the puzzle hunt, there's a sequence of puzzles that you solve and like look for clues. And we made it so that it would involve engaging with the conference and going to different sessions. And it's actually not just for students, it's for everyone, anyone who wants to participate besides the organizing committee. So puzzle one is out right now. So you're already falling behind if you're not uh, getting started. And of course, it's it's fun, it's easy, it's optional, but to incentivize you, we have 750 New Zealand dollars that will be given to the top three teams and you will be, uh, you'll win eternal fame at the award ceremony when we announce who won. So if you wanna join, there's a little announcement um, notification on the website, also on Feedloop. You could scan your QR code here. If none of those work, you can email one of us, um, but it should be pretty easy. 